The Dragon's Breath is one of the greatest exotics in Destiny 2. And that's a bit of a strong claim, but it is one I'll make. By the end of this video, I hope you will see why I say this. In fact, just so you don't think I'm crazy, I'll show a short clip of a simple DPS rotation using just the Dragon's Breath and the Aramite. It's pretty good for how simple it is to be honest. Apart from the fact that it just absolutely shreds, it's how easy it is to perform. You can't even nuke yourself with a dragon's breath due to its delayed explosion, and enemies struck by it are repeatedly staggered. You could see that the ogre wasn't even firing back the entire damage phase. And how the dragon's breath is supposed to be used, compared to how I've seen a lot of people use it, is why I think it has a somewhat of a mixed reception. This exotic perk will load stacks over time, shown on screen as composite propellant, up to a maximum of 5 times. At this point it will be dealing maximum damage, and the exotic catalyst reduces the time needed to reach a max of 5 stacks, and quite significantly at that. The time required to reach max stacks with the catalyst is around 15 seconds, but without it is much longer at 27 seconds. But another way you can cut down this time is by causing ignitions. This also includes ignitions caused by the dragon's breath itself, or any of your other solo weapons and abilities. A direct impact of a dragon's breath on a target will guarantee ignitions, and this alongside the catalyst reducing the base time will give you the best results. Also, upon getting 5 stacks the dragon's breath will auto reload the mag, meaning you should never have to manually reload this weapon. It's a good method of checking if a dragon's breath is ready to be fired. If it's loaded, you're good to go. If it's not, you swap to it too soon. It plays similar to other exotics like the Wither Horde or Anarchy. The additional benefit of a catalyst is one I also appreciated but in different scenarios. Enemies defeated by the Dragon's Breath may spawn fire sprites, and it seems that there's no cooldown or a limit on this. Firing the Dragon's Breath into a group of enemies is not only insanely good ad clear with a huge blast radius when you consider ignitions, but it also spam creates fire sprites. If these are built into with simply using their grenade regen, or mod synergy like elemental charge, or even subclass synergy like ember of mercy, they can be a huge help to your build. But even still that's not all, the benefits keep coming this season. We have overload rocket as an option, and if anyone has tried master lost sectors so far this season, you might have come across the most annoying enemy of all time, the Overload Hobgoblin. Well, two Dragon's Breath shots deal with them easily. You could likely even get away with a single shot if you use another high damage weapon while it's stunned. And that's at a 25 light disadvantage. And as a direct hit with a Dragon's Breath also causes ignitions, this will also stun unstoppables, even if you have the Overload Rocket mod equipped. Sometimes stunning two different types of champions with one weapon is pretty difficult, but because this is caused by a solar ignition, you can use it against both types. There's also the general solar mods, stuff such as Kindling Trigger and Flint Striker, which you can also take advantage of, but at the end of the artifact there's something quite interesting indeed, the mod Argent Ordnance. This one uses up an armor charge to increase the damage of a rocket, and as an artifact mod will stack with other buffs. I haven't unlocked it yet, but I want to give a challenge to anybody who has. Use this alongside Solar Operative with any loadout you want, and try to one phase a Grasp of Avarice Ogre using Dragon's Breath. I'm pretty sure this should be possible, as I wasn't really that far off just using a basic rotation. And finally I do want to cover this, there is actually some times where you don't want to be using the Dragon's Breath, so just to make sure you don't use it at the wrong time, here's what you have to think. It's kind of like Galahorn in a way. Because of how it utilises solar ignitions for a lot of its damage and to return fuel quicker, 
you don't want multiple Dragon Breath users during a boss DPS phase, since only one Solar Ignition can occur at once. You'll be effectively competing with teammates to who gets the ignition and the optimal damage, but for solo content it's really amazing. And in group contents too, as long as you decide ahead of time who's going to use the Dragon's Breath. Hopefully I've done enough to convince you that against what some people have said, this thing is not bad at all. It's far far from it really, it just takes the right style to use effectively. Thank you for watching.